Nobody should have to replace the battery in their iPhone 10 just yet, but in the future, if you find yourself using dark mode just to save a little bit of battery, it might be time to bite the bullet. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the battery in your iPhone 10. Remember that by opening your device, you're losing water resistance, so be mindful of exposing your phone to water from now on. For this repair, you're going to need a P2 Penelope screwdriver, a Tri-Point Y000 driver, a spudger, tweezers, an eye opener, an eye slack, and opening picks. Start by removing the strangely long P2 Penelope screws by the lightning connector. Next, use an eye opener to soften the adhesive on the edge of the phone. And grab your eye slack to separate the display. This will also help you insert an opening pick to cut away the adhesive. Once you get to the side with the power button, be careful, the display connectors reside on this side and going in too deep with your pick can damage them. Go all around the phone, making sure you cut away the remaining adhesive. The iPhone 10 still opens up to the right, just like the iPhone 7 and 8, but all the connectors are now under one bracket to rule them all. Go ahead and remove those five tri-point screws and lift the bracket away with your tweezers. Grab your spudger and pray to the cable gods that you disconnect the right cables. Just kidding, I'll show you where to start. Start by disconnecting the battery. It's the third one up from the bottom. Then disconnect the three display connectors. It's easier if you just follow the cables to its connector on the logic board. With all the connectors disconnected, you can remove the old display. With the display removed, start lifting the tabs on the battery. There are four, so make sure you get them all. Grab the first one with your pointy tweezers and do what I like to call the pull and twist. Pull on the tab and then twist the tweezers as you go. This should help against breaking the adhesive strips. If the adhesive is making an awful stretching sound as you pull, you're probably doing it right. If you happen to break them in the process, you're gonna have to resort to the scrape and pry method. Once you've removed all the adhesive strips, the battery should be free. That's all for this repair. Be sure to click that subscribe button so you've got the latest repair and teardown videos in your back pocket for your next fix. I'll see you next time.